Peniac McGee is about a boy named Jeffrey McGee who is orphaned at a young age and is forced to live with his strict aunt and uncle, who absolutely despise each other but refuse to divorce due to religious views. <sighs> what a wonderful reason to stay married. Eventually, he gets sick of their shit and goes on the run, becoming homeless. Jeffrey becomes a bit of a legend around the town that he lives in due to some of his athletic feats, and he ends up moving in with a young girl named Amanda and the rest of her family, but he leaves when he realizes that due to racial tensions that plague the town he's in, his existence is hurting his adopted family. He meets a man named Earl Grayson, who used to be a pitcher for the minor leagues. They form a bond with Jeffrey teaching Earl how to read because Earl was never educated. Sadly though, Grayson passes away in a scene that made me cry like a bitch because fuck you, Jerry Spinelli, for making me cry. The rest of the story kind of involves Jeffrey. He ends up meeting a couple of kids who live in the slums, and he sticks around because he wants to try and set a good example for them so that they'll continue to go to school, but their family's kind of... their family just doesn't really give a shit about them. And eventually, Amanda convinces him to move back in with her and her family, and that's where it ends. The book sounds a bit scatterbrained, and in the truth, it is. But it's controlled in its chaos. Deborah Abbott from Booklist said in her review that Maniac McGee was an unusual novel, magically weaving timely tales of homelessness, racial prejudice, and illiteracy into a complicated story rich in characters and details. I don't think I've ever seen a children's book tackle such topics as homelessness and racial prejudice, while also being written in a way that children can relate while being entertained, if that makes sense. It never talks down to its reader, but it's fairly easy to see the racial issues that plague the town of Two Mills, and seeing Jeffrey struggle as a homeless orphan is also kind of difficult to read about, but it is well written. Spinelli is a talented man, and I know I haven't said much about the book in terms of what I like and what I don't like, because really, aside from it being scatterbrained, I can't think of anything that's necessarily wrong with it. I'm going to give Maniac McGee an A 